Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. You guys are amazing. You're amazing. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching my channel, for your views. Thank you for commenting. You guys are awesome. Today, super excited. I'm super excited about this because it's a new one from Louis Laval. You watch my channel for any amount of time. You know I love Louis. Uh, I love the 1914, D. Christopher, all the folks down there. They're, they're, they are just as amazing, right? And uh, this is a download, so no product. You don't need anything. Uh, this is just a download to watch. I think the download is like 45 minutes, 45 minutes long, and you get a PDF too, which is kind of cool. And this is a star sign reveal. Not, not only that, but it's a propless, right? Propless star sign reveal. Now, I will say there's a lot of these out there, you know, and I've, I reviewed a few. I've reviewed a few star sign reveals, um, even did one once that wasn't completely propless, right? It came with a little brochure and kind of, and, and, and that made it easy. And I think that was like a series of questions. It was a lot of fishing. This one, star map, star map from Louis Laval. Let me say, you, and I know right away you're, you're thinking, okay, it's propless. So is, so is there fishing involved? There is an element that might feel like fishing to the magician and a magician might say, oh, sure there's fishing. But to the spectator, that's not how it's perceived. Like when you walk through the pattern that Lewis gives you, it is really not going to feel like fishing. It's going to feel more like the standard questions we ask in mentalism all the time. You know, like if right-handed or left-handed, or, you know, if, if, you know, is there, you know, well, there, and there's some letter guesses, right? There's some letter guesses, but the letter guesses are not the the memorized words you know what i'm trying to say i'm trying to say it without saying it the memorized words that they give us sometimes they give you a memorized word and they say you know as long as you follow this memorized word right or this memorized sequence of letters you'll hit it eventually well that works sometimes fast but sometimes it works slow <laughs> right and not every spectator knows how to spell Sagittarius. <laughs> I don't even know how to spell Sagittarius. Capricorn, right? Is there two P's, one P? So this is going to work for everybody. This is going to work for everybody. Yes, there are some questions. They're not going to feel like fishing. There's no long drawn out word or phrase you need to memorize, really. I mean, I think if you already know the star signs, and I, we'll talk about that a little later, that's really going to help you out a lot if you know the 12 star signs. But um, Man, I love this. I love this so much. So let's talk about uh, let's let's talk about Star Map. Uh, Lewis created this as an opener. All right, let's say that. Let's let's get that out there because we should talk about intention. Why why is this trick in you know invented? Do, do we just do this because we just needed a new star sign revelation? No. Lewis said I did this because so often in mentalism we say, hey, let's do this first trick so that we can connect, right? We do this trick that we so that we can connect. And he said, oftentimes what that trick is, is it's a throwaway trick, right? It's a smaller trick that's leading to a larger trick. And usually that smaller trick really doesn't have any element of connection in it. We just say that, right? Whereas, let's do this small trick so that we can get aligned or we get our brains on the same level or, you know, whatever, whatever pattern you're using. But this trick really does feel like you're being drawn closer to the spectator because a star sign is so personal, right? It's personal to them. It actually has meaning to them. And depending on how you do this trick, you could do this as a palm reading. You could hold their hand if you wanted to. You could put your hand up against theirs. You could do it invisibly. Like you don't have to touch hands if, if you're not in a personal space. You don't, have to you don't have to touch them at all. But, or you could do the thing, you know, where you, where you do like a gesture like this. There's a lot of ways that you can present this but the end goal is to reveal their star sign so that not only, not only to get a great hit, but as a way to bring some validation and truth back to your first statement, we are doing this to connect, right? So that's why he made this trick. Um, is it what I thought? Nope, it is not what I thought. I thought it would be just another one of the normal star sign reveals that I've seen everybody else do that's just some long memorized word or some long memorized phrase 
which is, you know, work, but it's not that. It is not that. It doesn't even require your spectator to know how to spell their sign, right? If they just know it, right? If they just know it, it doesn't require them to know their symbol, right? I mean, how many, not every Pisces knows <laughs> what the symbol for Pisces, okay? So it's, yeah, it, it just requires them to just know their sign. Really, that's it. So yeah, I think it's great. Um, as far as the overall quality and production value of the video, it's 45 minutes long. It's mostly Lewis talking to a camera straight on. There's a couple of videos where um, D comes in and becomes his spectator and the two face each other. Most of it, the straight on table shot. There is some close ups. Um, as far as what's taught to you in that 45 minutes, uh, there's an intro, which is about two minutes long. There's a five minute file where he gives you kind of like a picture castle where he talks about how to memorize the signs and memorize the seasons. And then there's a six minute file where he talks about method and he walks you through uh, a chart equating the seasons of the year to the sign so that you understand which season falls with which sign. Then he kind of touches back on the iris star sign deduction. Um, and I reviewed iris a while back. You could go back and watch that review too. Um, but really, he talks to you about the questions that take you from 12 signs and, and, and narrows it down to three within like a single question, really. From, from 12 signs down to three in one question. So yeah, like I said, it, it's going to feel like fishing to a magician, but not a spectator. He has a studio performance with D. It's four minutes long, full patter, and he does it twice, uh, mostly talking about astrology and stars. And then he gives you an alternative presentation. This one's done more as a palm reading, but he gives you plenty of other less mystical options, including a contact-free option. And then there's a live performance that he does out in the real world. That's about two minutes. And then there's a final thoughts video that's about seven minutes. And like I said, pocket space, it's completely prop-less. Completely prop-less. If you feel like you might not be able to memorize the 12 star signs, and, and you wanted a little bit of a crib, you could easily make a crib that could fit onto a business card, really. I mean, even, even I have a little struggle remembering all 12 star signs in a row, right? I mean, it's the same as memorizing the months, really, but you know, I, I used up all my brain capacity learning the seven dwarfs and the reindeer for Santa. So, <laughs> so there you go. Plus I'm old, right? I'm old and us old people, we have, we have really bad memories. And as far as angles go and inspectability, obviously, but uh, we could talk about it's streamlined. It is super streamlined, more so than one of those long out, stretched out words. Because in those long stretched out words or those long stretched out phrases that we're told to memorize, what ends up happening is if, as long as they say yes, then we keep asking them questions, right? We just keep going. We keep going until we hit a no. And then when we hit a no, we know we've gone too far and we kind of back one up and we say, oh, it's, then it's this. But with this, um, nothing changes. You're going to say the same pattern and the same questions every single time. It's never going to be long. One routine is never going to be longer than the other. The only time it'll ever be shorter is if you hit your hit on the very first question. You can hit on the very first question. Now, the odds of that are, you know, one out of six, but it's still going to happen. So that's the only, that's the only way it would ever be a different length, but every single reading should be the exact same length. Um, set up and reset. There's memorization, right? That whenever you have propolis mentalism, there's memorization and usually memorizing a script. This is no less. Okay. So if you don't have a prop to lean on, right? If you don't have a prop, that's a crutch, then the crutch, really that you're leaning on is your memory. So yes, memorize the script. And I always suggest memorize it exactly like the magician teaches you. So often I think we definitely should create our own routines and our own scripts and you should, but with something like this where it's memorized and you have to uh, learn it in a specific way, I always encourage you memorize it and perform it exactly like your teacher until you're ready to take the training wheels off and go out on your own. You need to understand what words are important. And you need to understand where beats and rests should naturally fall. And when you figure that out, then yes, obviously, create your own script, make it your own. But 
I would highly strongly recommend this as something that you memorize so that you can get all those hits. So positives, positives, like I was saying, there's no, no long word or no long series of questions that you need to ask them. The entire routine should be the same from person to person. I also said that you, you could possibly hit within your very first question. You know, there's two signs out of the 12 that you would hit on your very first question. So that's, that's a plus right there, right? That's a plus right there. Um, negatives, there is a lot to remember, I think. There is a lot to remember, especially when you narrow down 12 signs, like something like this. Like I mentioned earlier, the seven dwarfs or Santa's reindeer. You need to know the entire list. So I think when we do, when we do lists like the reindeer and the dwarves, we're always strong and confident like on our first four or five. And then as we get a little further in, we're like, oh, did I say that one already? Did I say that one already? You really do need to learn the 12 star signs. Okay, and, and you need to know roughly, um, you know, how they sound and which ones are in which groupings that, that Lewis puts them in. So I, they're not negatives, but I'm just warning you, okay? This takes memorization. Is it worth your money? It's only $18. 18 bucks? 18 so less than 20. You get 45 minutes worth of instruction, a PDF. It's taught to you by Lewis Laval. You know Lewis, he's strong. 1914, great products, filmed well, shot well. They don't just, they don't just put out garbage, right? They put out strong stuff. I, I've loved everything they've put out. Solid teaching. Lewis is a great mentalist, great performer, great teacher. Can't say enough great things. And then when you combine it with the fact that you're getting a star sign revelation that yes, admittedly takes some work, but it literally goes with you everywhere, right? It's an EDC that you always have with you because you memorized it, so yeah. But don't believe me, don't believe me. Don't listen to what I say. Don't take my advice, don't, don't. I am just another talking head on the YouTube. Uh, go watch Neek Tan. Neek Tan did a great, fantastic, wonderful review for this. You should definitely go out and always get a second, third, or fourth opinion before you spend your money. I hope that answered your questions. I hope that answered your questions or perhaps introduced you to a trick that you weren't even aware of. And if that's the case, you can do me a favor by hitting like, subscribe, and follow. Mash all those buttons. That really helps me out a lot. And big, huge props to D. Christopher, Louis Laval, and everyone down at the 1914 for allowing me to have this so I could do the review for you. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.